hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial today i will try to show you easy way and my tips how to drawing hair is about the beginners because we need to help beginners to learning to draw <clears throat> so i have the picture and i have the real picture in the tablet as you have seen uh, a few months ago i teach you how to draw eyes I teach you how to draw skin, how to shading, nose and mouth as well. So today I will show you uh, show a tutorial about the hair, an easy way how to draw hair. I just line up very very soft and you will see easy way how to draw hair will be very very interesting this tutorial. But before to do this I will present a few of my supplier so I'm working with Faber-Castell 9000 pencils so for this one we need HB grade guys so I will show you HB grade from Faber-Castell okay that's very good pencils we need darker pencils but not really really dark for hair where we have a dark shadow so we're using we try to using 6b as well okay hope you can see that's it so today we're using hb 6b don't forget about the highlights we made the highlights by tombomono zero eraser okay so we need tombomono zero eraser uh, today we don't use dotting tool because we're doing hair for beginners so it will be very easy and I have rectangular Tombow Mono Zero we're using this one as well so let's start and let's see how to draw easy hair for beginners hopefully you can see very well I Put close as I can the zoom of the camera is closer as you can see here I have all face already almost done just I need refreshment and will be done but I will show you easy way on this side of the hair and look at this highlight here we made by eraser very very easy so let's start with a we start with this side of the hair so we have darker side here and a little bit lighter on this left side so we start with age the grade yeah and we shading all this area because we need to build hair on this area so my tips my easy tips for beginners to drawing easy way for drawing hair is shading first before drawing how to shading with a pencil don't keep the pencil like this okay we keep the pencil to the last very last end of the pencil okay and we're shading very very soft Unfortunately, guys, this tutorial won't be so longer, so I do my best to show you in this tutorial easy way to build hair for beginners. And if you're struggling with the hair and don't know how to do it, you can learn now to make more realistic for your portrait using these tips by shading. Also for shading guys you can use ear cotton but will taking longer so you can use uh, tissue toilet paper or even face wipe my favor I'm using face wipe because it's very soft and very good for paper by the way I'm using Strathmore Bristol paper and I'll make a short presentation of the book so this paper is 
for me when I'm drawing and this is A4 paper as you can see here the sizes okay hope you can see very well and I have also the big paper and I'm come back in a minute it won't be long and also I have this face wipe I get ready a few of this face wipe okay so this is face wipe for me help me a lot I have one of these and I will show you how <clears throat> how to shading with face wipe after shading with a pencil I think it's the easiest way for beginners to doing as close as you can about real portraits and I'm happy to help because a lot of people asking me when you can do tutorial to show us how to draw hair, how to draw skin, face, everything. So today I will try to show you how to draw hair, easy way to draw hair. So as you can see, I let the picture in the tablet so you know about what we're doing here. So guys, first of all, we're doing with HB grade. And always guys, remember when you're drawing, keep the eye on a picture and try to go in close as you can with a picture. It's very important details. As you can see, I'm following the picture and I need to shading all this area to go in closer with the picture, guys. Mm -hmm. I do apologize about latest broadcast live because I used to work a lot last time and I didn't have time to draw in too much. So we come back now for drawing if you love art and if you love my <clears throat> tips for drawing just follow my steps and you will see as you can see here i have already shade by hb grade and if i told you guys this is for beginners will be very easy for you guys to draw in here and if you want to do professional, you need to put more details with mechanical pencils. But this is easy way, so we don't need mechanical pencil today. Okay, as you can see, I'm going by shading. <coughs> And won't be any problem from now how to draw hair never draw hair starting with lines if you are a beginner just shading go by shading <clears throat> and you will see your project will be better by shading Also guys, if you're shading, you will see later how big details you can bring with eraser. So we have Tombow Mono Zero eraser, or you can use like me in case Faber-Castell eraser pencil. Okay, I have this one as well. So this helping very, very much. So now guys we have shade 
shade and I will show you if you're using face wipe how to using face wipe very very well to shading after pencil so this is face wipe we split in a half and we build two sides of this face, face wipe and we have the triangle okay and we shading all this area and you will see very very nice details and filling a paper of this graphite so guys this is easiest way to draw hair for beginners so if you're struggling with the hair now you know these tips and you can use from now but as you can see I have darker in a few sides for example here it's a bit darker and here here as well yes so we come back now with 6b grade we changing the pencils okay of course still by shading very very light shading with 6b over to uh, over 8b grade and we're following the picture always remember keep an eye on the picture and we're going with shading close as we can and don't forget guys when you draw never rush up your drawing and keep an eye on the picture I would like to thank you very much for your beautiful comments and if you like my art follow my steps when I'm broadcast live and you can learn from me and from others so you become a good drawer so I have already here the dark one okay I'm going where it's dark we follow in the picture to put dark shading <clears throat> so guys this is very easy way to draw hair for beginners Yeah, we don't bring details yet. We're looking for shadowing. Okay. As you can see I keep the pencil flat always when I'm shading and also I'm keep an eye on a picture so I can show you guys how to put a dark shadow and lighter. Very slowly. 
Now we'll rush your drawing. And these guys, the second one is 6B, or you can use 4B in case if you have Stadler mass lumograph, that's okay. You can use as well. And if you don't have professional supplier, it's not a problem. Just try to find Amazon in your country and definitely you will find because Amazon is very big and every country must have Amazon. I buy my supplier from Amazon. So I'm happy, very, very happy with this supplier. So now we're looking to shadowing darker shadow. And guys, don't worry if you're shading and if you do any mistake, don't worry about that because you have a Tombow Mono Zero Eraser and you can rebuild again. Happened to me before when I started drawing, but when I started to draw, I didn't have Tombow Mono Zero. I just have, I just had a, like children's school eraser. So for me it was difficult and different to learn about the shading. Also on my YouTube channel, I have a few tutorials, how to draw in, depend what you want to learn how to draw and you can check on my YouTube channel. Okay guys, almost first step with shadowing is almost done and I will tell you the secret now to make more realistic we're using brush, very small brush but I will present my brushes in a minute. I have two types of brushes. I'm using one from for details and one for softening the paper. And I will show you my brushes. Also very cheap. It's not a problem with these brushes. Very, very cheap. And I'll show you these two brushes. Okay, I'm using this one. This is for details. It's a bit harder. And this is very, very soft and you will see how much help these brushes. So I start with the harder brush first, yeah, and just follow my steps because I shade darker here. And if you need more darker, like in a picture, I'll come back with another step, same before. So now I'm shading with this brush. And what's happened now if I'm shading, I'm actually, I'm looking to combine the graphite HB grade with 6B grade. And if you combine them, look what's happened. We go in more to realistic hair. Okay. So that's the secret. So this is very cheap brush, don't worry about that because you can find this brush in any shop. It's like a painting brush. Okay, now we have here to shade a little bit. For people who can't catch this tutorial, don't worry about that because I will try to post on YouTube as well. And also on my, or many, many other groups. 
and you can catch later to watching and if you're struggling with the hair you have this tutorial to growing better you know art drawing okay so now I'm mixing actually I'm looking to mixing HB grade We shading longer this time because we have long hair here. It's not curly, it's not afro hair, it's just low. We try to look into shading low. If you remember in my first tutorial about hair, it's still on YouTube. You can check on my YouTube channel to find how is it. Uh, if you remember, I shading round circles, small circles, yes. Looking to fill in the paper. Okay, we're going further now. Always keep an eye on the picture, guys. And don't worry about the mistakes because you just try to learn. Keep progressing and you will see your result when you will be finished. Okay. That's a few of my secret how to draw realistic hair for beginners, of course. First of all, take HB grade, shade all of the side of the hair. After that, using face wipe, shade all hair with face wipe. And next step, take darker grade, for example, 4B, 6B, 8B in case if it's darker. Try to look in for shadowing, as I did. And now, for example, we need to bring more details down on the bottom. So we repeat these steps with HB grade again. Okay. And we're looking for shadowing. As I told you, eye on a picture. If you're a beginner, don't worry about how you draw. It's not necessary to doing exactly like in the picture. Only thing is to learn and to know how to use the pencil first. And if you know how to use the pencils, your result will change in. And now I'm looking for this very, very soft hair here. In art of drawing, it's very important to know how to shading because the shading is everything on the portrait. Now, as you can see, I'm shading very slowly, small, small line. following the picture and going close to the picture as I told you before in a few of my tutorials it's very important to understand art of drawing I did and I like very much And if you learn how to use pencils very correctly, you can do miracle on your papers. I start to draw from 2000 with the simple sketches and my scale growing month by month, week by week, even day by days. I'm still learning from myself
as you can see it's not heavy job it's very easy only follow the picture and you will see how many details you can put with pencils by shading and using also Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. We're using Tombow Mono Zero Eraser only when we finish for details to bring more details and more effects on our paper. So now we concentrate on the shadowing. It's very important to know how to shadowing and if you see how I keep the pencil for me I'm not keeping like this I put in through the fingers because I learn like this and it's very easy to move the pencil on the paper just playing the pencil on your paper but guys it's very important to achieve a good paper if you want to do art I start to draw on Xerox A4 paper and I've seen a lot of mistakes on that paper because it's not very strained that paper so if you're shadowing more for example when you do eyes or something like that and if you don't have good pencils you may broke the paper <laughs> try to achieve good paper for example I recommend Stratmore Bristol paper, smooth paper, console paper and more others for artists. I'm not promised nothing but I do my best to try to come in back with more tutorials. Just let me know on my group Graphite Pencil by Raul Art what you like to learn and I will do my best to drawing with you okay if you want to draw if you want to learn how to draw skin i will teach you how to draw skin here eyes nose everything just let me know and we can broadcast live now as you can see i'm bringing only Shadowing with HB Gray. As you can see here, this area is a bit darker so after shading with a brush I will repeat the same procedure but I'm changing the grade and you will see very nice changing of the details when I'm changing the grade I'm coming with 6B grade at this time because it's not really dark here so before to start to draw a portrait just check the picture <coughs> and my Recommendation if you draw after color picture, just rebuild the picture in black and white. Everybody can do this so you can see better where the shadow and where the highlights are. very soft on the paper just playing very soft i have very big passion for art guys as you have as well i've seen on my group a lot of students beginners very good portraits already also they can improve more but i've seen very good results on your art so let's stop here for the moment 
and we keep going with brush we bring more details with brush now okay with the same hard brush yeah this one is very good for details so we're shading again long lines And as I told you before, don't rush up, slowly, slowly. And if you check the picture, you will see you going close as you can. And why not, you can start to make commission work and to earn some money from artwork. Already this area of the hair changing and I didn't did much just shading and change the grade of the pencils very lovely hair and easy to draw okay guys so now we're changing the grid again because we need to put more darker so I'm going close with the everything in a tablet I'm changing again on 6B, still by shading, we don't do details yet with the pencil like liner, mm -hmm. we're still shading and we're looking now for shading with details. Remember keep the pencil flat guys for shading. And now by shading, we're looking for details as well. We don't press with the pencil, guys. Only follow my steps and you can see very very detailed hair for beginners. Okay. 
also i would like to thank you for your wishes guys so now i'm 44 years old so god bless you all and everyone are welcome very welcome to my group to learning how to draw even from beginners to become a pro so now we're looking for shadowing but also details guys with 6b grade also i forgot to telling you if you don't have this kind of gloves you can buy on amazon as well and if you don't have just cover with the blank paper on your picture because all hands have oil and i will try to make a demonstration to see what's happened if you don't use nothing on your portrait you won't be happy when you finish because oil from your hand or your skin is going into the paper and when you finish your portrait you will have some spots on your paper it's very very important to cover the portrait cover your artwork with something till you're drawing if you don't have this kind of glove very very important thing to know and to learn about this i didn't do this before and i seen what's happened oh my god my portrait was finished but also dirty a few side of the paper by my hands oil from my hands i wasn't happy of course and I start to think about it. <laughs> and now I like to share with you my experience and my tips. So you can learn from this and don't do the same mistake as I did. Slowly, slowly, step by step, we're going to make a real hair, adding more details. That's what we're looking for we draw. To put as much details as we can in our portraits. To make a memorable art and to become an artist so yes guys i bring now with 6b grade so we have a bit darker area here we're doing this with brush again still by lines and you will see the second step with the brush will get more darker area because we need more darker in this area <clears throat> this uh, shading this kind of shading also you can use ear cotton to doing very very soft on these lines and i will show you is the same thing only is the different supplier yes i have ear cotton so i can do the same if you don't have brush yet 
you can repeat with this ear cotton and you will see nothing happen but I prefer brush for better shading <coughs> if you prefer brush just achieve one and you can do with brush Hopefully it's closer enough. I zoom closer so you can see. And as you can see now guys, be because of the good paper, I can shading more times without problem. Again, we bring more details. After your shading, you need to repeat the procedure so you can have this always. So, as I told you before, I'm happy to help, to teach people from my skills, and if you really love my art, I'm glad you can check this tutorial and you can learn more to grow in your skill. And don't forget guys, this is tips and tricks for beginners. If you're doing more realistic hair, you can do by mechanical pencil. I'm using 0.5 grip mechanical pencil when I'm doing my art, when I draw hair, to make more realistic hair, as you see in my art. Again, we're looking for details, of course, by shading, because to the end, everything we'll be doing by, we will doing by eraser, Tombow Mono Zero eraser. But remember guys, never press the pencil on your paper, only soft by shading. I'm shading very soft because the brush doing everything.
Okay, we come back with brush again and we shading everything where we drew. And you will see on your paper the dark tone coming and now you can bring more effects with Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. I have a bit more details to put here, so to don't lose the lines, I'll come back with 6B to repeat the procedure and to keep my details visible. Like it. Like it. Mm -hmm. Nu, 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 Here. As much details bring on your portrait, as much realistic look like. So I'm now going with this type of hair through the realistic, very realistic, because it's not reason, this is for beginners, so we stop when we, sh uh, when we erase with Tombow Monozer Eraser, when we're using this, will be the last step for you guys. But if you want to learn to draw like a professional, you will see in a few of my tutorials, I will show you how to transform this beginner step from the hair and the realistic hair only using by mechanical pencils adding more details with mechanical pencils just using good grip of mechanical pencils and you will see how many details you can bring more And now we're brushing again on the top and if you see after brushing the hair become darker and we come out all beautiful details and now you know how important role have this small brush is very important 
and as you can see I use on this type of hair only two type of grade H B grade for the beginning and 6B grade for the dark side so it's not really really big deal to learning how to draw hair for beginners an easy way but the most important step in art of drawing is to know about the pencils to know how to shade with the pencils how to keep the pencils what kind of pencils you're using what kind of paper you're using for art of course how to shading with brush because you can shade with brush more types you can shade by circles when just in case for the skin or whatever or you can use like me by lines and we come back now with 6b grade again to finish this side of the dark here and now I'm shading by lines adding details as well in the same time I have too much light on the window so it's a bit harder for me to see the tablet too much light in the tablet So now we keep going on the bottom, slowly, slowly. And after that, we will using Tombow Mono Eraser for final details. And after this Tombow Mono Eraser details, adding on the paper, you will see the difference from the beginning when you start. As you can see we try to using all possible details using 6B grade for this kind of hair is okay to finish with 6B grade you don't need darker there's no dark hair Remember, it's very important to keep the pencil sharp and don't press with the pencil on the paper. It's a good tip to keep your art drawing very, very nice. So you can shade everywhere you want. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, if you don't press with a pencil, you can do miracle on your paper and you never broke the paper. Now we need to bring more shadow on this more curly side of the hair. So guys, for good art of your drawing, I recommend Faber-Castell mechanical pencil, Faber-Castell graphite pencil, Stadler Master Graph as well, they are very very good pencils, a lot of people already use these pencils and they are very very good. Um, Derwent uh, as well, I have a set of Derwent British pencils, very very good. Tombow Mono Zero Eraser, um, Faber Castell Eraser, just in case if you can bring one, if you can buy one. For drawing, for blending eyes, nose, lips, you can use blending stomp. I think a lot of people are using already blending stomp, very important for details. Uh, two type of brush, don't forget about the harder and very very soft one. As you can see when you finish your to drawing your hair, <coughs> if you're using Tombo Monozer Eraser you bring more highlights details, but we're using for the last step very very soft with the soft brush and you make your hair more realistic even for beginners. So always when you draw a portrait and if you're going to make more realistic, never rush your portrait, never rush your work. Take all step easy, following the picture in your phone, tablet, whatever you have. <coughs> One more important thing, if you see what I'm drawing, I'm always turning the pencil, yeah, I'm circling the pencil, so I can keep the first of the pencil very, very sharp, because if you keep only one way pencil, you will see you using the braid from the pencil, but if you're turning the pencil, you will have already always sharp pencil. So this is very very good to know, it's very important things to know. Turning always the pencils.
course now as you can see I'm coming with darker shading Okay, now we're using Tombow Mono Zero Eraser to bring some more details so we know where the highlights and where the dark shadowing are. Also, if you have a Faber Castell eraser pencil, you can use that one as well. But a lot of people are using already Tombow Mono Zero eraser. So, before to go into this step, we need to use again brush to bring shadowing by brush. As I told you before guys, don't worry about the small mistakes if you are a beginner because you can rebuild with eraser, everything will be fine. So let's see where we have highlights for the beginning using Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. I'm coming with this Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. Okay. So we have highlights here and now you see how many beautiful details you can bring by this eraser just line up a little bit adding more details in your art room and you see the hair changing become more realistic even if you are a beginner Also guys, when you erase with eraser, <coughs> always when you see it's full of graphite, just with the finger clean it a little bit and you will have clean again. So now on our project, changing, adding more details with this beautiful eraser. And if you want to keep going to learning more to bring this hair more realistic, <coughs> use for the final step mechanical pencil to bring more realistic hair. This will be another tutorial. 
going more details to bring more details in your artwork. Now we're looking for all possible highlights. Going close as we can with the target picture. I think everybody know about this Tombow Monoza eraser. If you don't know about this, just check on internet and you will see a lot of people already using and doing miracles in their details. So guys, look how much we can change the type of the hair, the model of the hair is already changing by these beautiful details with eraser. Of course it's very important to know how to use this eraser because there's a lot of people who don't know how to use this eraser. Don't erase always on the <laughs> on the paper. Only line up or in case of the realistic skin, just dotting, small dotting, and you will see beautiful effects on your paper. As I have a lot of these effects on my portraits. Realistic skin by dotting. And for this I use Faber Castell eraser pencil and also Tombow Mono Zero eraser. So guys, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Hope you understand how to use pencils, how to use graphite grade of these pencils for beginners to make more interesting realistic art. Hope you understand now how to shading and from now your artwork will be better adding these beautiful details and you will see your artwork will be different from now. Also, as you can see here, we need to erase more because it's very, very dark on this area. So, to make more realistic, I'm using this Faber Castell eraser pencil. So, rebuild the hair. As I told you before, it's not any problem if you do. Any, any mistake you can rebuild with this beautiful eraser pencils. And of course, big brush for delete, clean the paper. So now we need to rebuild with 6B grade. There we are, to keep the ear, where is it? So guys, thank you for watching and hopefully this tutorial can help. Uh, I will post this tutorial on many, many other groups, also on YouTube. Hopefully this tutorial can help, hopefully your artwork will be better from now. And uh, see you guys in my next tutorials. And also, if you are a beginner and if you want to learn something, just go to Graphite Pencil by Raul Art. Let me know what you want to learn and we will broadcast live for you to know how to learn 
how to draw realistic even from beginners so thank you for watching guys and have a nice Sunday take care guys bye now